Tori here today with a new Tori Tech Talk video where I'm sharing apps or technology that help me create, help me scrapbook, help me project life, card make, photography, whatever. And I want to share them with you. So today I want to talk about this cool app called Beauty Plus. It's a free app, so yay for free. Um, it's really fun. It's kind of like a photo editing app. And I'll tell you the truth, I only use this app for two things. I use it to edit my selfies and use it to edit my nail, nail fees. And if you don't know what a nail fee is, it's like when you take a picture of your awesome nails. And since I'm a Jamboree consultant, I often take pictures of my nails. And so I only really use it for those two things, but you could use it for anything, really. Um, I'm going to give you like a quick, it's this one right here. I'm going to give you like a quick how to edit selfies and nail fees video um, because sometimes you take a selfie and it's pretty but you want to like just like pump up the jam make it look like amazing <laughs> so that when you create your scrapbook page or create your project life page your little selfie looks just as good as all the other photos so um, I feel like this app is amazing and it's super cute and you can do these really fun things with it but I just want to like put out a huge disclaimer, please people, please, you are beautiful just the way you are. You do not need an app to make you look more beautiful and you do not need an app to make you look skinnier or to make your eyes bigger or any of those things. So please don't think that my sharing this app is promoting that at all because with this app, you can definitely do those things. You can uh, basically give yourself a facelift um, and a little body modification if you really wanted to. So I just want to say that you can do that with this app. I don't do that and I don't promote that. I really want to encourage people to feel beautiful in their own skin. I only use this app to like fix little tiny things and I'll show you what I mean by that as I go about it. But again, I really want to stress that I think you are beautiful and you are beautiful just the way you are. You don't need an app to make you look better. So yeah. Let's just keep going. Let me show you how to beautify yourself, beautify your selfies and your nail fees using this Beauty Plus app, which is free in the App Store. So definitely check it out. Um, okay, let me dive right in here. I'm going to show you how I edit. You have different options here. You can do the selfie, the beautify, selfie video, and magic brush. I'm not going to go into everything you can do with this app because this app is like intense. Um, but I want to show you the selfie version and the beautify version. So let's start with the beautify version because it's actually the easiest thing you can do. Up pops your camera roll. Select the photo that you want to beautify. So I will use a photo of myself. Here's a little selfie I took. Obviously you can tell that I took about 20 to get this one photo that I liked. But whatever, that's not the point right now. Um, I'm feeling very self-conscious, but okay, that's okay. So I select the photo that I want to beautify, and this is it. It's a selfie I took, and I'm going to click edit. The app is going to give you all these different options for things that you can beautify about your photo. So I'm just going to scroll through them so you can see them. You can smooth things out, so if you're really bumpy, I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can smooth things. And let me just say, if you're doing a nail fee, as in taking a picture of your nails, and you have like not very nice cuticles, you might want to smooth out your cuticles kind of idea. Um, you can fix acne if that's a problem. You can change the tone of the picture. So select the tone of your skin and it'll help um, just change the colors up. So I might select this one because I have really light skin. Um, but if you had darker skin, you could check that and you can tone the picture with the scrolling bar, more, less. So that kind of helps it match the skin tone to the photo, basically. Click the check mark if you want to keep it. Click the X if you don't. You can whiten your teeth, which is nice. You can brighten your eyes. And basically, let me show you how you would do it. Like if you wanted to brighten your eyes, you click on that and click on the photo where you want to brighten boom 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 and it'll brighten your eyes which is nice if it's kind of dark um, you can even zoom in by pinching with your fingers and dragging and dropping and then I'm gonna click where I want to brighten eyes I might want to increase it if my eyes are really big 
You can do that by selecting these options here. You can also click automatic if you want it to do that automatically. Again, click the check mark if you like it. Click the X if you don't. If you have dark circles under your eyes, you can fix that. Boom, I always have dark circles, so just kind of draw where the dark circle is and it'll fix it. Okay, but again, you don't need this to feel beautiful. And I don't usually do this much. I'm just kind of showing you what you can do. You can slim it. Please don't do this, people. You are perfect the way you are. If you're too short, you can fix the height. Again, please don't do that. You don't need this. Resize, you can change the eyes. You can change your nose. You can contour your face. But like, can I just say like all of these slim height, resize, narrow your nose and contour. Like nobody really should be doing those personally in my opinion. Like we need to learn to love each other and love ourselves more. Okay. Anyways, I'll get off my podium <laughs> for a second and just keep showing you how to use the app. Um, one of the things that I do like about this app and I think is really helpful for self selfies and nail fees is the filters. And that's what I really want to show you and the edit feature. So um, there is the retouch options, which I was showing you, but there's this edit button in the bottom left you can select. You can crop the photo, rotate the photo, enhance it as in change the contrast or the bright brightness, which I think is anybody can do that and it'll look really good. You can change the clarity. You can add a vignette around the photo. Boom. Brighten less, blah, go to dark, go to bright. I don't like that, so I'll click the X. You can add full lights, you can add highlights. So there's all those different options. You can add clarity, as in kind of like take out the blur, but I think the blur looks better. Although, look at that, that's not attractive. So let's just get rid of that. And then you can add filters. And this is the thing that I think really helps your selfies like look amazing. So click the filters. There's all these different filters and they're made to make your selfies look better. So it'll automatically pick a filter that it thinks will look good. Um, and again, you can change the filter level there, but there are other filters that you can scroll through. So I wanna show you some of my favorites. I love the sweet one, although it doesn't look good on that photo. I love natural and emerald. The first three are kind of my favorites, but again, I would say just go through and find one that looks good on the photo. And I mean, you might determine that none of those filters look good on your photo, but it just kind of gives you an idea of what they would look like, ooh, black and white looks nice on that photo. Again, change the filters, so maybe I don't want it to be as dark. Do, do, do. Get it to where you want it, and then click the check mark if you're ready. Okay? And when you're all done editing your little selfie, making yourself look beautiful, um, you can click the little download arrow in the top right-hand corner. It'll save it to your album. It does it automatically. You can either click continue and do some other fun things there, but that gives you basics how to edit it. So I wanna go back and show you the other options. So there, that was the beautify option. There's also the selfie option, which is the first one there. If you click that, you can take a photo. Hi guys right there and take a photo and edit it. That is not pretty. And it'll automatically add a filter on top. Or you can select from your camera roll and find the photo that you would like to edit. So let's say I have this photo and I said I wanted to show you um, selfies and nail fees. So here's a nail fee. Uh, let's see if I have anything better. Hmm. I just recently deleted a whole bunch of photos from my phone, so I don't know if there's any good ones. Okay, here, here's an example. Okay, I took this photo while I was in Kauai of my nails to show off my beautiful manicure. Let's edit this using the Beauty Plus app. So once I select a photo, I click edit, and it is automatically going to add a filter on there. And it actually automatically adds the filter that you last used. But again, you can change that by selecting these three little circles in the bottom right hand corner and selecting a different filter that you wanna put on there. So I wanna show you the three that I really like. Natural, look at how pretty that is. I love um, the natural actually, and the emerald. So sweet. Natural, emerald are my favorite, but again, you can click through and find one that you really like. 
So let's say I really like the natural one. I think that looks really pretty. I can um, turn off blur or add blur by clicking that little raindrop image. I can add a vignette by clicking the little vignette button in the bottom left there. I think it looks pretty with the vignette on, so I will leave that and click the down arrow. If I'm all ready, I can click those three, like that little image there next to the check mark, and it'll save it to my album. Or I can click the little um, arrows there to go through the different filters to find a different filter that I like. Okay, so you can either manually select the filter by clicking those um, three circles, or you can just randomly go through them using the arrows until you get to one that you're like, oh, that's cute. Maybe I'll use um, Daydream, okay? So there you go. You can also do more editing on the selfie one by clicking those three circles, clicking that down arrow. Oops, sorry. and you have all those different options to edit it, okay? Once you're all ready, click the check mark. It'll save it and go back to your camera, okay? So you have all those different options for um, editing it, and you can go back to the main screen by clicking the back arrow in the top left-hand corner, okay? So that kind of gives you an idea for how to use the Beauty Plus app for your selfies and your nail fees. Just a quick tutorial. Um, there's obviously way more that you can do with this, but this is just to give you a quick idea. Again, you are beautiful just the way you are. I would say I just really like the filters and the like teeth whitening and the eye brightening things. Um, but again, there you go. Quick tutorial on the Beauty Plus app so you can make your selfies and your nail fees and what other kind of photos you want to make just touch up those little tiny things that you want to touch up anyways that's it for me today if you have any questions comments thoughts leave them in the comment section below I'd love to hear from you if you want to check out my other Tori tech videos I'll leave a link for that below too again I love you guys I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you remember that you are beautiful just the way you are bye guys